Patricia Marie Egoso, <coughs> I'm close, from the Felician Sisters. And I apologize if I ruined your last name. That's okay. You didn't ruin the first one. <laughs> 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 Is it on? Go right ahead. It's on, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think he was afraid when he saw me get up. <laughs> First of all, on behalf of the Felician Sisters, I'd like to thank you for inviting me. And I want to also thank you for helping us on every occasion that we've needed to call. Dear Lord, as we gather here this evening, we ask that you bless our town council. Be in their midst as decisions are made for the good of the people of Enfield. Help them to always discuss the matters at hand in a reasonable way, and may their ideas go forth in a productive manner so that your people may live in a safe, peaceful, and righteous town. Prepare their minds to hear what is asked of them by those they serve and listen to what they had to say so that all may be proud to say, I live in Enfield. This task is not easy, so please give them the strength they need during these difficult times and help them to create a town where peace, joy, and love are shared by all. They were chosen by the people who have faith and confidence in what needs to be done and in ways that will be all means for the good of all. And we ask this through our Lord, your name, amen. Amen. Thank you. So if you could please remain standing as we get starting our organizational meeting on Tuesday, November 12th. We're proud to have the Enfield Explorers with us tonight who are gonna lead us into the, with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if everyone could please Turn to your right to the flag, and I'll turn over to the Enfield Explorers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we are honored here tonight, thank you, to have for the Star Spangled Banner, um, sung by Connor Gaston. <coughs> Welcome, sir. Mike's right there, and I believe it, just check, make sure it's on. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Give him a standing ovation. The courage they'll sing that song in front of everybody. <laughs> Moving on to item four of the agenda. Karen. And I fight when we call up the constables. Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Right, Thank you, everybody. Please be seated. 
The oath of office will now be administered to the newly elected constables. With the constables that are present, please come to the front of the room. Okay, so who are we missing? Cindy Kwasnicki. Okay. At this time, I ask you both all to raise your right hand for me, please. Tony DePace, Raymond Peabody, Mary Ann Turner, do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, your duties as constable for the town of Enfield to the best of your ability? So help you go. Congratulations to you all. Karen? Okay, so next on the agenda, I'm going to ask the newly elected town council to please rise. And if you could all raise your right hands for me, please. Joseph Bosco, Gina Sakala, Kelly Hemler, Bill Kiner, Mike Ludwig, Cynthia Mangini, Joel Muller, Charlotte Riley, Carl Sferaza, Donna Suzak, and Lori Angeyer. Do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, your duties as a member of the town council for the town of Enfield to the best of your ability? So help I you do, God. I do. Congratulations to you all. Since you're on Tari, roll call, please. Yes. Councillor Bosco. Here. Councillor Sakala. Here. Councillor Hemmler. Here. Councillor Kiner. Here. Councillor Ludwig. Here. Councillor Mangini. Here. Councillor Muller. Here. Councillor Riley. Here. Councillor Sferaza. Here. Councillor Suzak. Here. Councillor Ungeyer. Here. There are 11 present, no one is absent. Moving on to the agenda, item six, the appointment of mayor. Do I have a nomination? Deputy Mayor Suzak. Councillor Suzak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> More shadowing. I'm going to get him a new joke book. <laughs> I'd like to nominate Mike Ludwig. I think he's led us through the past two years of not being afraid to try different things, not being afraid that if we don't succeed the first time that we need to change and do what else, do what needs to be done. So I'd like to nominate Mike, and I do promise to get him a joke book. Second. Do we have a nomination and a second? Do we have a motion to close nominations? So moved. By Councilor Muller? So second. Seconded by Councilor Riley. All those in favor of a show of hands of closing nominations. Opposed? Abstentions? Roll call, please. Councillor Bosco. Michael Ludwig. Councillor Sakala. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Hemler. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Kiner. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Ludwig. Four. Councillor Mangini. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Muller. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Riley. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Sferaza. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Suzak. Mike Ludwig. Councillor Ungeyer. Mike Ludwig. That's 11 in favor. No, no one opposed, no abstentions. Thank you. Congratulations. I, I, pro I promise to be very brief. Uh, for, for those who know, I was actually supposed to be in Chicago tonight and would have missed the ceremony, but Mother Nature helped us out and my plane got canceled. So I have a very brief speech. And basically, I just want to say it's an honor to be able to serve the, the town of Enfield as mayor. I am extremely motivated to get back to work and build on what we've already started. I want to congratulate both my Democratic colleagues and my Republican colleagues for their recent election. I look forward to working, with all, working together with all of you to move the town of Enfield forward. I'm also excited to work with our excellent town manager, Chris Bromson, and with our, all our dedicated staff and employees. Our employees truly are the backbone of our success. These are exciting times. Our residents of the town of Enfield are a very generous and hardworking group. Let's continue to work together to move the town forward. Sincerely, Mike Ludwig. Thank you very much.
Moving on to item 70, appointment of deputy mayor. I would like to nominate Donna, Donna Suzak as deputy mayor, Second. seconded by Councilor Ungar. And uh, I just want to simply say um, that the deputy mayor is one of the honest, most hardworking people in this town. I'm glad she is my friend. I've gotten to know her very well. I consider her a friend, so I can, that's more important than consider her a deputy mayor because she's my friend. And I would hope that everyone recognizes the hard work that she puts into the town of Enfield. Does anyone have nomination, motion, nomination to be closed? Councilor Muller, seconded by Councilor Riley. All those by show of hands, all those in favor of closing nominations? Opposed? Abstentions? Roll call, please. Councilor Bosco. Donna Suzak. Councilor Sakala. Donna Suzak. Councilor Hemler. Donna Suzak. Councilor Kiner. Donna Suzak. Councilor Ludwig. Four. Councilor Mangini. Donna Suzak. Councilor Muller. Donna Suzak. Councilor Riley. Donna Suzak. Councillor Sferraza. Donna Suzak. Councillor Suzak. Four. Councillor Ungeyer. Four. That's 11 in favor, none opposed, no abstentions. Congratulations. I just want to say thank you for all your confidence, and um, I hope to get a few more roofs done. <laughs> thank you. And, and so, uh, so as part of the, the, the appointment of deputy mayor, I would like to start from left to right to allow each councilor, if they choose, this is to thank whoever they would like or say a few words, and we'll start with Councilor Kiner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first, a couple of thank yous. Uh, first and foremost, to my wife. Honey, how many campaigns have we been through together? It's you know, a countless number. How many dinners have we missed and events that we, I dragged you out to? And I thank you for your support. You've been there for me forever, and I, I thank you so much for doing that. Um, I have to thank my son um, and my granddaughter. Uh, David is here tonight. Uh, David supported me through this last campaign, and I don't think I would have done as well as I had had it not been for my granddaughter, Juliet. I mean, her pictures on Facebook, I mean, how can you say no to someone like that? So again, Juliet, thank you very much, and congratulations, Mike, to you and, and to Donna and to the, um, and the majority. Um, you were successful, obviously, a week ago. Uh, the challenge now before us all um, is to work together inclusively. And if history is any example, uh, we've done that quite well. And I'm sure that we will continue uh, working together, uh, not necessarily as Democrats or Republicans, uh, but as members of a town council uh, who have the best hopes and wishes for our people at heart. So again, uh, congratulations to everyone, and um, I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to Mark and my two kids. Um, like Bill, we've gone through several elections, and they truly sacrifice with me, because I'm not home on the evenings that we have um, meetings. Um, thank you very much to the voters. I appreciate your vote of confidence for this fourth term. Um, I will continue to be a voice for you. I will continue to fight for what's right. I will do my best. Um, as you can see, it'll be an uphill battle this term, but I'm a fighter, and I will continue to do so. But please understand, this battle is bigger than eight to three. I would like to thank my family and the voters of Enfield for allowing me the opportunity to return after my 19-year session with the council. It's an honor, truly, to serve the people of Enfield. And as my esteemed colleague, Mr. Kiner, said, we are here to work for the betterment of Enfield to serve the people. And again, we will have philosophical differences we're people, there's how many of us up here, 11? But the important thing is that we show respect to one another and that we work hard and diligently to get the job done for Enfield. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to thank my family for their endless love and support. 
uh, my parents for all their help and all the weekends that they watched the kids while I went out and knocked on doors. Um, my husband and my kiddos, who are my rock and my everything. Uh, without you, I would have no reason to be up here today. You make the world a brighter place. And Ryan, I promise you that date night's coming really soon. Um, to all the awesome people that supported me all the way here, and a lot of you are here tonight, um, and everybody that voted, words can't express how grateful and blessed that I am. I promise I'll work hard, I'll listen, I'll ask questions and do my very best for my district and this town. Um, to my colleagues up here, I'm super excited and honored to work with you all and to do some great things over the next two years. Good evening, everyone. Uh, before I start, I would like to just personally express my gratitude to the people in the front row here, our elected state officials. These are very busy people. Uh, they come from all over the state, and the fact that they're at Enfield tonight, I think, is significant. So I thank you for your presence here tonight. I certainly want to congratulate all of my Republican colleagues on your victory and my Democratic colleagues also. And I agree, Bill, that we have more in common and that divides us, and if we focus on that, we'll do a better job. Um, I would like to thank, obviously, the residents of Enfield, especially those last week that voted for me. This is my first election, and I got to tell you, I was humbled and overwhelmed by the outpouring of support I got. And I want the people that voted for me to know that when you vote for a candidate, I don't think you're voting just to elect someone. You're voting a vote of confidence and trust in those people. And I take that seriously. I took it seriously during my career for 38 years as a police officer and the chief, and I'll take it seriously as a town official. Um, I certainly want to thank my wife, Donna Lee, for her unwavering support in everything I do, my family and my friends, and especially the members of the Republican Town Committee, of which some work behind the scenes, and we wouldn't be here without them, so thank you. Um, when I got elected, this time, as you know, I was appointed last time. I've only been on the council less than a year. And I came on the council with the expectation I'm going to help everybody with everything. That lasted about a week because the reality is government is not equipped to fix everybody and every problem. So I tried to adopt a philosophy to go by. How am I going to vote when it's not an easy vote? And my philosophy is very simple. I try to do the most good for the most people. And the second bit of advice comes from my favorite president, Ronald Reagan, who said one time when he was talking about elected officials that in government, there are no easy answers, but there's always a simple answer. We just have to have the courage to know what is morally right and to follow that path. And I intend to follow that moral path. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. And may God bless the town of Enfield, our state of Connecticut, and God bless the greatest country on this earth, the United States of America. Thank you very much. Since I already gave a quick speech, I just want to recognize again, uh, and I apologize in advance if I ruin anyone's name or I miss anybody, but I try to capture everyone who's in the room. We're very honored to have everyone here tonight, both current and former representatives of various boards and commissions of both parties, but we're very honored to have State Republican Leader Len Fasano and House Republican Leader Themis Claritus here. Again, we, uh, I should stop right there. And uh, so we thank you very much for being here. We, again, it's an honor for us uh, to have folks from the state here in Enfield. But I also want to recognize Republican State Senator John Kissel, former Republican Senator Len Suzio, Republican State Rep Carol Hall, Democratic State Rep Tom Arnone, Republican Town Chairwoman Mary Ann Turner, Democratic Town Chairwoman Virginia Higley, former State Representative Greg Stokes, former Mayor Scott Copen, former Deputy Mayor Bill Lee, former BOE member Ray Peabody, former State Rep David Kiner, and current board member elects Joyce Hall, Chairman Krizel, Chris Rutledge, John LeBlanc, Wendy Costa, and Guillermo Salazar. So if I missed anyone, I apologize. That's my speech, and thank you for being here. I'd like to thank all my friends, my family. I see my husband out in the audience, so I won't have to make him watch this meeting when he gets home. <laughs> he does love them. <laughs> 
But I, I want to also thank all the, the people in District 3 who, you know, stood on their doorstep and talked to me and listened to me and listened to me. One of my big things when I walk this year is the importance of municipal elections. I can't tell you how important the people who sit up here are and how much they affect your world. So we promise that we're going to make Enfield even better than it was yesterday, tomorrow. Thank you. I am so grateful to everyone who played a part in getting me elected. I could not have done this without the voters of Enfield. I would also like to thank my son Logan and my daughter Delaney, who's here tonight, for accepting all the meetings I have to attend. A special thank you to our campaign manager and chairman Marianne Turner, the entire ERTC, and my team on the town council and board of ed. I'll never forget your hard work and dedication. I look forward to working with this new council and continuing to work with the town manager, the assistant town manager, the town attorney until December, and all the town staff. We are going to continue the great work in Enfield, and I'm super excited about the JFK School Renovate to New project that is starting in April 2020. Thank you. First of all, I'd really like to thank God because it really is all about serving and serving this community uh, and the residents of Enfield. I'd like to thank my parents, Gus and Jane, and my husband, John, my children, John and Joshua, and my daughter-in-law, Sarah, and my new grandbaby, Harper. They've all contributed and helped. I also wanted to thank the voters of this town because uh, Without that, I wouldn't be here, and I, I appreciated meeting all the new people, knocking doors, and uh, continuing the relationships with some old friends. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the Republican Town Committee, and especially Mary Ann Turner, because without their support, I wouldn't be here. Thank you very much. I have a couple thank yous, too. That uh, for people who made this all possible, uh, Lori kind of stole my thunder. So my first one was God. <laughs> That's, okay. That's right. Um, I want to thank my husband, and I have just some advice for him: keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times, Cliff. Um, thank you to my family and my friends, the campaign team, Marion especially. Um, all the candidates. We worked hard together. We worked really hard, and we had a blast. Um, and last of all, I want to thank all the voters that came out. Um, I, I will give you one promise. I will work very hard. Thank you. Well, I want to start, thank I want to start by thanking my family uh, with all the hours and stuff they have to put up with. People don't realize how much it takes away from your family. Um, then I want to thank all the voters in District 1. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them, even the ones that voted against me. That's what makes what we're doing here and everything that goes on in the town very important. Because every, vo every voice needs to be heard. Um, I also want to uh, thank um, just my brothers and all, all the other people, the ERTC, I mean, Scott Copen. You know, seven, year, seven terms ago when I first went, <laughs> he tried to warn me, and I should have took the, the warning. But, you know, when, when he was mayor and I was green, he made sure he'd give me that little prod every time I'd be going off. And it made me the council uh, person I am today. And uh, I can say my family's been here since the turn of the century. I love this town. I owe this town everything that I have, and I will always do what's right for the town of Enfield, even if it's wrong for myself. So thank you, everybody, and uh, to the next glorious two years. Moving on, to, moving on to item eight, resolution to set meeting dates. Apologize if I'm a little rusty. 
whereas the town charter chapter 3 section 4 provides in pertinent part that at the first meeting of the council following the town election the town council shall fix the time and place of its regular meeting which shall not be less than each which shall not be less than once each month therefore be it resolved that the first regular meeting of the 2019 2021 town council be held on monday november 18th 2019 in the council chambers at 7 p.m and be it further resolved that thereafter the council shall meet in regular session on the first and third monday of each month ex excepting the month of no except accepting the month of november at 7 p.m in the town hall council chambers or at any other places the council may designate in the month of november the council shall meet on the monday immediate following election day and the third monday of the month in the month of november, when monday is a holiday the regular meeting shall be held in the following day at the same hour unless otherwise provided by for by motion the day the time and place of the meeting shall be changed by majority vote prepared on october 18 2019 by the town manager's office okay. councillor muller Second. seconded by councillor riley any discussion Hearing none, roll call, please. Councillor Bosco? Here. Con Four. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Sakala? Four. Councillor Hemler? Four. Councillor Kiner? Here. Four. <laughs> Councillor Ludwig? Four. Councillor Mandini? Four. Councillor Muller? Four. Councillor Riley? Four. Councillor Sferraza? Four. Sorry. <laughs> Councillor Suzak? Four. Councillor Ungeyer? Four. That's 11 in favor, none opposed, no abstentions. Pronunciation is hard, say. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to item nine, appointment of the committee, three members to review the policy and procedure for the Enfield Town Council. Be it resolved that the Enfield Town Council does hereby adopt the policy and procedure for the Enfield Town Council meetings dated uh, December 18, 2019, prepared by eight, October 18, 2019 by the town manager's office. Oh, 70, sorry. We have a, uh, a second um, motion in a second. Uh, oh, I actually said December 8, 18, 2019. It's actually 2017 for the record. Yeah. And so the people who will be uh, named, uh, um, will, the nominees are Donna Suzak, Kelly Hemler, and Gina Sakala. Do we have a motion? Second. Motion made, seconded. Any other firmer nominations? Hearing none by show of hands, all those in favor? Opposed? Now for the main motion. Any other uh, discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councillor Bosco? Four. Councillor Sakala? Four. Councillor Hemler? Four. Councillor Kiner? Four. Councillor Ludwig? Four. Councillor Mangini? Four. Councillor Muller? Four. Councillor Riley? Four. Councillor Faraza? Four. Councillor Suzak? Four. Councillor Ungeyer? Four. That's 11 in favor, none opposed, no abstentions. And so, again, I, so we move on to item 10. Again, I, I, I just can't emphasize how impressive it is for our young people to sing Star Spangled Banner, America the Beautiful, any of the beautiful songs that represent this country in front of a packed house and do it with such, I mean, uh, precision and beauty that Connor did and we call up Emily Vandal, please. All right, everyone, please rise. Whenever you're ready, make sure the mic is on. Whenever you're ready. She is gonna sing America the Beautiful. Good idea. Yeah. If anyone wants to place a flag, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. Amen. Shed his grace on thee, and proud my good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. We got we got some talented kids in Enfield, folks. We got some talented kids in Enfield, and motion do I have a motion to adjourn? Councilor Muller, seconded by Councilor Strauss. All those in favor? Thank you, everyone. We are adjourned.